Thank you very much, uh, Minister. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome my colleagues, uh, governors from our counties, Karibuni Sana. Thank you for responding to our invitation together with the Global Fund and uh, AMREF, our partners, who, because of their effort and the partnership that exists between the government of Kenya and these global players, we have this function today, a very important function. Um, let me recognize uh, the chair of the Council of Governors, the chair of uh, the Health Committee of the Council of Governors, um, Mr. Lyndon Morrison, our good friend from the Global Fund, Dr. Gidinji Kitahi, again, uh, thank you for your wonderful speech, the Kenya Coordinating Mechanism members, governors who are present here, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon, we are engaged in a very important event that is of utmost importance and significance for a number of critical reasons. The most important is, of course, the fact that every intervention in the provision of health care to the people of Kenya is, a fundamental, is of fundamental importance to the government and the people of Kenya. Our commitment goes beyond the traditional delivery of health services as a public good. The provision of universal health comes out of the recognition of the singular opportunity to intervene radically and make healthcare inclusive, accessible, affordable, and of very good standard. A healthy nation is a foundational constitutional expectation, and the right to the highest attainable standards of health is an, entitl an entitlement of every citizen. Medical expenditure is also a notorious driver of poverty, robbing countless households of incomes and savings. Our universal health care commitment is therefore an integral component of the bottom-up transformation agenda. This agenda is radical because it commits to deliver bold and ambitious undertakings in the face of economic and geopolitical challenges in the context of the post-pandemic recovery. Consequently, it has become imperative to augment traditional governance with innovation and a strong measure of imagination for service delivery to meet the needs of a new but also a difficult moment. To achieve our transformational ambitions under the constraints of limited resources, we have opened up funding mechanisms and delivery frameworks to accommodate the participation of various partners, including private investors, development partners, multilateral agencies, and non-profit organizations, as well as civil society. The involvement, for example, of the Global Fund and our friends in AMREF in this case is an example. At the moment, significant programs and projects under our plan have been undertaken under the public-private partnership framework. Our affordable housing pillar, for example, is primarily going to be delivered using the PPP model. We also have bilateral partnership agreements to execute several important programs and projects in conjunction with friendly multilateral partners and governments. In addition, multilateral partners and uh, multilateral organizations and development institutions have come on board to undertake critical projects in many sectors throughout the country. You had um, the representative of Global Fund mention that we deliberately decided to increase our contribution to the Global Fund from $6 million every three years to $10 million because we want to create the partnership with other development partners and multilateral organizations to be able to support the delivery of our commitments as a government. I cannot sufficiently emphasize 
the magnitude of positive change we have achieved, the opportunities we have identified, and the potential to do much more and much better than earlier projected, thanks to our policy shift to partnerships as effective project implementation and service delivery frameworks. There is no better way of driving this vital point home than this event. Through a close and strong partnership with Global Fund, Kenya entered into effective engagement with other governments, civil society, the private sector, and affected communities, which enabled us to register remarkable progress in improving public health. As has been mentioned by the representative, apart from this 20,000 cylinders, we have a whole 5 billion shilling other projects that will be in the health sector that will support our push to every citizen to have access to health. More specifically, there has been a 67% decline in AIDS-related deaths since 2013, 85% success in treatment of TB and a major drop in national malaria prevalence from 8% in 2015 to 6% in 2020. Currently, the Global Fund grants to Kenya for 2021-2024 amounts to $441 million that is almost um, by all counts, billions of shillings, and is implemented by various partners, including the National Treasury, AMREF Health Africa, the Kenya Red Cross, and other agencies. The National Treasury implements its portion through the Ministry of Health, NASCOP, Malaria and TP programs, National uh, Syndemic Disease Control Council, Health Systems Department, county governments, and of course, KEMSA. On its part, AMREF Health Africa implements the grant through 46 community organizations, while the Red Cross does so through 65 also community organizations. While it is undeniable that our partnerships have been remarkably successful, we must look forward towards an uncertain future recognize and prepare for the challenges that certainly lie ahead. This realization is particularly imperative given our post-pandemic outlook. The devastating COVID-19 pandemic was an immense stress test that posed a serious challenge to our health systems and exposed its vulnerabilities. The Global Fund came to Kenya's aid and supported us in coping with the overwhelming systemic burden of the, of the pandemic with significant financial support. This is appreciated. And let us clap for the Global, uh, Global Fund, my good friends. More significantly, the Global Fund stands with us even now in the pandemic recovery phase as we take robust measures to remedy the systemic weaknesses exposed by the pandemic. A major vulnerability highlighted by the COVID-19 pandemic is the medical oxygen supply chain. Kenya has suboptimal oxygen supply and poor infrastructure as a result of which it is minimally available in public health facilities. The pandemic drastically intensified demand for oxygen, raising its cost by more than 75%. As a result, Suffering Kenyans and their distressed families were driven into unprecedented despair. The Global Fund has been immensely supportive of our efforts to strengthen our national medical oxygen ecosystem, and I appreciate the fund's $41.7 million, about 5 billion Kenya shillings investment through AMREF Medical to support our oxygen supply and comprehensive infrastructure improvements, as was explained by Dr. Gitahi. Today, we are here to witness the crowning moment of a highly successful partnership that has, been, that has seen us through the hardest of times and strengthened us for the future. 
as we flag off 20,620 medical oxygen cylinders for delivery to our 47 counties. Let us reflect deeply upon, but also appreciate with gratitude and celebrate an exemplary partnership that has remained committed and also transformative. We are highly encouraged by the success of our partnership and further emboldened in our, in our mission to deliver to the Kenyan people a healthcare system worthy of their aspirations and consistent with our ambitions for socioeconomic transformation. I assure all our partners, those who are present here and those who are not, of our unwavering commitment and tireless devotion to ensuring that your friendship, goodwill, and support yields much more and brings our people closer to the Kenya of our dreams. I also appreciate every actor and stakeholder that has taken part in the partnership that has implemented our public health agenda, whether they are in government, the private sector, civil society, philanthropy, or the communities involved. The implementing partners of our various interventions, and I want to state that we just concluded a small engagement with our county governments who are a critical component of the delivery of health because health is a devolved function. And we have agreed that because health is a devolved function, we are going to begin from the bottom. In our universal health coverage plan, the unit that is critical and important is the unit at the bottom of the pyramid under a community health promoter. And we did agree in Naivasha that we are going to jointly identify and support the community health volunteers, community health workers. We have now agreed that they will be called community health promoters. And we are going to co-sponsor these community health promoters. We have agreed with the counties that we need to standardize the remuneration of these community health uh, promoters, and we need also to standardize the kits, standardize the kits that will be made available for them to use in the service they will be undertaking in every um, village in the Republic of Kenya. This program, hopefully, we should be able to launch when all is put together. I have committed that the national government is going to provide all the kits for all the 90,000 community health workers. And uh, we are already preparing for the delivery of the kits. We have already agreed with the leaders of the counties, here the county governors, that to remove the constant challenge that we have had around the partnership between the national government, the county government, and our health workers. We are going to um, uh, now inaugurate the Kenya Health Human Resource Advisory Council that is already provided for in law. And we have asked the county governments to provide the membership of this board so that we can use it to address some of the challenges that we have. And I think we, are, we now have a template on how we can resolve these issues in a way that gives everybody a chance around a table. We have also agreed with these uh, good people on the subject of the primary care unit, because that will be the lowest unit that is going to account for the resources. And we have agreed that uh, in every sub-county, we have identified 315 primary care units. And it is framed around uh, every sub-county. We've asked the counties under the leadership of our governors 
to identify additional stakeholders to bolster that team so that the team that exists at the moment of uh, the sub-county health committees, that we increase it by bringing on board a representative of the health facilities that are run by faith-based institutions, health facilities, another representative of health facilities that are run by the private sector, a third person to represent the community and the counties will provide a forum where the community can elect a person who is going to be uh, in that uh, committee. And also our development partners, maybe like Global Fund, maybe like AMREF, maybe the others who are players in uh, different counties, that they do, they, they, they do also provide a representative in that health committee so that we can have a committee that can assist us to drive the universal health plan. We have agreed with these good people, the leaders of the counties, that this time round, we must get it right. And we cannot afford to have a misstep this time round. There's been two previous attempts on universal health coverage. This is the time we must get it right. Uh, I also want to appreciate Global Fund for the grants, also deserve very special appreciation. We expect, we expect uncompromising accountability, good measure of transparency, and proper utilization of the resources that have been put at our disposal. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say a very special thanks to you, the Global Fund, for the commitment to improve healthcare in Kenya. A very special thanks to our governors for the contribution that you are making in this health space. And together, we have come far, and together, I am sure we will be going places. Receive our message of gratitude and best wishes from all of us and we look forward to making further progress with Global Fund and with our friends in AMREF. Asante Nisana, God bless you. Thank you very much. Tutakutana ukombele. Sindio? Yes, I request that we just take two steps back to allow the truck to be flagged off as we now give His Excellency.